Hey, so this is the instructional video on how to do the harmonics for the section in Chartis. So this is how it sounds without me slowing it down or anything. First thing you want to do, all of your fingers are only using one and four. First thing you want to do is make sure you know where your one is at all times. shifts weren't perfect so you need to make sure that all of your shifts are landing exactly on the pitch so I would pull out your tuner make sure that slow it down make sure that all of your notes are landing in the correct pitch practice your half step shifts and it's not very often that you're shifting this quickly so pay attention to what direction the bow is going on that shift, what direction the music says. I don't have the music with me, so I don't have any idea what the bowing is. But realize here, what position am I in? First, shifts to third, shifts to first. So this goes from to second. You're literally shifting every note, unless you're playing an open string. Okay, so once you know the positions that you're in, the direction that your bow is going, um, sometimes you'll have little squeaks. Um, either your bow is coming at an angle and it just doesn't catch the string. Um, either you don't have enough rosin or um, you are catching the, the string change on just a bad bowing. So really be aware of the direction of the bowing. Um, okay. Then how you add the harmonic is you press down on the one and you lightly touch in the shape of your one, two, three, four. So this is a shape that you're pretty much going to keep the whole time as you're shifting. So you have your one. If you just lightly touch, it's going to make a harmonic. It's an overtone that is, I think one octave above. No, it's probably, yeah, it's one octave above um, this fingering. So, um, when you go to the, the next note, we are actually going to use the three because it's an open string that creates the overtone of the open A string where your three lands. But notice if I press down, it makes a note. If I just hold it lightly, it makes that. Um, one way to practice harmonics is just take a plain old G scale um, and run up and down with your G scale. That way you know where your harmonics are. Practice that. Um, and then just continuously practice. My, my fourth finger is completely flat. You can have a little bend to it, but you just need to be practicing. You're shifting, knowing what position you're in. That's a big one. And then also keeping your eyes on your fingering. That's a big problem with players is they, they look off into a different direction. So I just really... Um, want to impress that it's important to watch your fingers. So I hope this helps. Again, this is a harmonics section in Chartis.